everyone, it's Yolanda from the All Crafts channel and today's tutorial is a request. Someone sent me a photo of these little sock monkey beanies. I've done this in pink and, and white pink and the tan. This is a variated yarn. I used a medium weight yarn. It's acrylic but you can use cotton or whatever brand you, you like. Remember whatever main color this is going to be the face of your little monkey. So you can do this in gray and brown or dark brown whatever you want. This is white. The top will always be white and the rim here white. You can also do this in the traditional color with the red like a regular sock monkey. I'm doing this for my granddaughter so I wanted the pink to make it more girly. And then if you do the red then you would also put red here in the middle or you could do blue here and then also the mouth would still be red. So these are the, you choose the colors you want. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and let's get the party started. Okay, to begin our hat, I'm going to be using a size J hook, but you could just read the instructions below in the box to see what suggestions for hook sizes. This is a 6.0 millimeter, but you could use other sizes as well. I'm just using a medium weight yarn. You're going to need a white, a tan. This is variated, but you just need a tan or a light brown and a pink, okay? If you're making for the boy, then you would need blue instead of pink or you can choose whatever color you want here. So here, um, you could even use, instead of pink, you could use red, it's up to you. So here I'm gonna start with my magic circle. So this, the um, end is on my left hand. I make a circle like this, a loop. So now it's up like this. Bring the loop to the back and I'm using my thumb and my index finger to hold that in place. Then I put the back yarn right there through my pinky and my ring finger, bring in the hook, grab it from the back, and then do the little stitch to hold that there. Let me see if that didn't look really focused. So let me try that again just to show you once again. The end goes here. Get your loop around like this. So now it's coming in front. Use your use your thumb and your index finger to hold this together you bring this to the back and then I use these two fingers to hold the back of the yarn put my hook in there lift my pinky and my ring finger I catch the yarn and then I could just go ahead and do the first little stitch there to hold the circle okay so that is how I do the magic circle now you're going to chain three one two and three this chain three, three chains are going to count as one double crochet and then I'm going to do 11 double crochets into the circle. To do the double crochet, I yarn over, go into the circle, pull out my yarn. I will have three loops on the, ch on the hook. I'm going to pull through the first two, there'll be two left, and pull through the next two and that is my double crochet. So that's, so here this, this was kind of as one, two, and I'm gonna do that until I have 12 double crochets into my circle. If, like right here, the circle is getting too big to control, you can pull a little bit, just don't close it all the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do until I have uh, 11 more of these, and then this will be, including this one, will be 12. Okay, I finish on my 12, so then I pull this to pull shut, that ch that um, circle there and then here in the third chain one two three I'm going to slip stitch here let me see get that to close that circle there to go up to my second round I'm going to crochet three one two and three and then I'm going to go double crochet into that same right here that little stitch so here yarn over go into that first little hole there just like that because in this round we're doing two in every stitch so here this one two because the chain three counts as one one more time now in the next stitch you do the same thing two double crochets in each stitch so here's two next one the same thing two double crochets in every stitch when you finish this round you should have 24 double crochets including the chain three the first round was uh, 12. Now here we're going to have 24. So continue doing that until you have 24 double crochet. OK, 
here I've come to the last um, done my last double crochet so here once again on the third chain you slip stitch one two three and you're gonna pull up then to do row three you're gonna repeat what we just did row on row two meaning we're gonna chain three you're gonna go double crochet into that same little stitch there and you're going to work two double crochets in every stitch just like you did in the round two so here you go through both of them and when i'm working the double crochets into that stitch i'm this is you this would be doing the first chain you're going to go through the c through the bottom where you get two see you have the two loops there that's how you want to work you want to work through the entire chain okay so here I'm going to continue doing this until I have two double crochets in each stitch, including that chain three, for a total of 48. Okay, here I'm coming to the end of row three. So here's one, two, three, actually round three. And so here I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain. And then to go up to row number four, where you're going to chain three, one, two, three. And now here, on row four what we're going to do is that um, we're going to go ahead and do one single crochet in each of the next four stitches one two three and four oh, excuse me three the first one is three because this counts as one so here's one two three four and then on the fifth stitch you're going to do two double crochets so here's one and two so there's an increase every four stitches. So remember the third chain, the three chains count as one. So here's one, two, three, four. Then the next stitch has an increase. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So here I do one double crochet in each of the next four, two, three, and four. And then in your fifth stitch, you do an increase. One and two. So you're going to have an increase in every in every fifth one. So here you're going to work four. In the first four, we do a double crochet. One, two, three, four. Then on the fifth one, you do an increase. Then one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, you do an, your next increase. So here it is just one, 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 and then two. One, 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 and then two. So repeat that all the way around. So you have an increase on every fifth stitch. Okay, when you go all the way around, you're going to have work your last increase here and you'll have two stitches left. So on those two, you can just do one double crochet in each one, just like that. Okay, and so now here before we, before we close this off, we're going to change our color to the pink color. So here, then, you would get your pink or the red or blue, whatever color you're using here. You're going to pull through that, just like so. Let's see if I can get this color here. I'm going to cut my yarn. And I'm just going to make my knot here. And then for the row five, you're just going to do one row of one half double, one double crochet in every, in every stitch. So here, I'm going to hide these tails. One, two, three, to go up to your next row. And then one double crochet each stitch and I'm hiding these tails as I work. So here I just want you to work one double crochet in every stitch. Okay. Just like that. One more time. And so go ahead and repeat this all the way around. And then when we get to the end here, we're going to slip stitch and then we're going to change yarn to our tan color or brown or whatever color you're using. Remember the color you use here next is going to be the color of the face of your little monkey. Okay, so go ahead and work one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. When you get to here, your last stitch, then go ahead and hang on if you wanna do the color change together, then we're gonna go on to our next rows. Okay, here I'm coming to the end of my round. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, and here I'm going to change to my little tan color. It's actually a variated color, 
and so here one two three but remember whatever color you choose you can choose whatever color you want but remember this is going to be the face of the monkey so um, keep that in mind so here I got this variated color because since I have white and pink I thought this would be nice because it also has like cream color in there um, and I don't know what the name of the color is um, so here I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut my yarn because I don't need any more of the pink I'm not gonna I'm done working with the pink so you just need a little tiny scrap of that uh, color so here I'm gonna go ahead and make my little knot so here then I'm gonna hide these tails as I work I get that tail out of the way it's hard to see because it's kind of don't you there so here you're gonna go one two three and then once again now here for row six to twelve so you're doing seven rows in your new color you're gonna just do one double crochet in every stitch no increases just and you want to work until you have 12 rows total if you want it a little bit longer you can do 13 but usually 12 is enough so here I'm just working one in every single stitch and see I like the way this color is changing so here I'm going to repeat until I have a total of 12 rows with my new color and uh, then we will go ahead and fasten off and we will go on to do the little mouth and then the the eyes so here that's what I'm doing oh I wanted to show you guys I've been working on some little creating new little Amis and I was working on this little whale I don't know if you could see it's kind of shaped like a little whale with its little fin if I think it's a really cute little toy for a, a child it only measures like from the beginning to the end it's about about seven inches and if you do it for a baby then you don't have to put the water with the blowhole but if you guys want to see a tutorial on this just write down in the comments in the box below let me know hey I want to see the little whale and me tutorial and then I'll put that up for you guys I just think it'd be another cute little toy for um, uh, Christmas or just a little baby sh a baby like a shower you could do it in the blue whale I just did a little blue whale and so just let me know if you guys want to see that so here getting back to, oh, I'm so distracted getting back to the little hat just go ahead and work this one one double crochet in every stitch until you have 12 rows beginning from the pierce one two three four five so six until you have 12 total okay I finished row 12 and so here I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain and just we're going to fasten that off okay and then this you would sew in so now now what I need you to do is here in the middle point where the three chains are one two three that's going to be our middle point here so here you're going to count over here your post so here's the middle you're going to go one two three four five I want you to put a stitch marker something to mark on that fifth which is you know your fixed fifth chain and then do the same thing here here's the middle so now we're going to go over five posts one two three four five and you're going to put your other stitch so there'll be two stitch markers there and now here on either side you're going to put a second stitch marker but here you're going to count 12 stitches so here's from your first stitch marker one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there's your second stitch marker and you're going to put the next one here the same way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so you're going to have four if you look at it here four total stitch markers can you see that there's one two three four and in between these stitch markers is where we're going to do the ear flaps okay if you don't want to do ear flaps then your beanie part is done okay so you don't have to do anything else so here now between these flap these stitch markers here and here are going to be our beanie our ear flaps and this is the center back this part here is the front okay to do the ear flaps you should have your stitch markers on remember I show you how to do that so now this is the right side and this is the wrong side inside so we want to start here on on your points here 
you could either start here or here it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna start here on my very first flap here and in this stitch I'm gonna put in my hook there okay this is a center remember where we ended so here I'm gonna start doing this flap first I'm gonna get my yarn I can make a little loop on it just so it could make it easier just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull it through that first stitch where I have my stitch marker if I could get a little bit closer so you guys could see so here is where my space was once I joined there I could take that off and now here I'm going to chain three to go up one two and three okay and I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch so here this one counts as my first so here's my next one and I'm going to be hiding this tail as I work so you're going to have 12 stitches 12 double crochets including this one so it would be 11 of these and then one with your chain 12 okay so here's one two so I'm going to go all the way across and then I'm going to end my last stitch here where my stitch marker is okay I'm coming to the end of my first row of the first ear flap here and this is my last one so there four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so you should have twelve including the chain three so once you do that I can go ahead and remove my stitch marker if I want so now what I'm going to do here to go on to our next row I'm going to chain one two not three usually we do chain three to go up but here we're only going to chain two in these next rows we're going to work you're going to turn your work over and you're going to do a decrease in the first two and the last two stitches so here we're going to go in this stitch this and this we're going to be working a decrease let me see if I could get this a little bit better focus okay so here I'm going to yarn over you're going to go into this stitch pull out you have three pull through the first two yarn over again go into your next one pull into the first two and now you're going to pull through all three that's your first decrease you're going to yarn over and do one stitch in each stitch one double crochet excuse me in each stitch until you get to your last two so here almost there oops here remember our last stitch is actually that chain so here so now here your decrease is going to be over this stitch and over the third chain so here you're going to yarn over go into that last post pull through two you have that left yarn over again go through the top of the third chain pull through the first two you have three and pull through all of those and you're going to repeat this decrease working these decreases here you have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten you're going to continue working this until you only have six of these um, stitches in there okay okay so I finished my second uh, row here so we're going to repeat the same thing for rows two I make three and four and I'm sorry I told you that the last um, so here I'm sorry I said you know over the third chain but it's really the last point is over the second chain because we only have two chains so to go up to the third row chain two one two turn your work over we're going to do the first decrease now yarn over go into your next stitch you'll have three pull through the first two yarn over go into the next stitch pull through the first two you'll have three and pull through all those and now we're going to do a double crochet in each stitch until we get to the last two the last decrease uh, stitch is over the second chain I'm sorry I said the third chain just because usually it's three chains so here now we just need one more so here's going to be our last stitch and then over the second chain I'm sorry I said third so here you're going to yarn over go into that stitch pull through the first two yarn over again go in through that second chain pull out so you go through the first two then the last three so that's the third one now we just need to do one more row two turn over yarn over do a decrease two yarn over go into the next one 
equal to the first two, then to the last three. So that's, there you go. And now this is our last row. Double crochet in each one across and you do a decrease over the last two. So here is my last stitch. So here's my first decrease, my last decrease here. Go in there, pull through two, yarn over and go through the second one. Pull out, pull through two, there's three left, and then pull through all of those. So here now you count one, two, three, four, five. We have six stitches or a total of four rows, okay? So once you do this here, I can go ahead and cut my yarn and I'm going to fasten off, you're going to sew in that yarn. And like I said, the ear flaps are optional if you don't want to do them. I th just think this is going to look cute because I'm also going to put some braids. So that's the first ear flap is done. And you're going to work the second ear flap here exactly how you did this one, okay? So you're going to stick in your, your hook here, join your yarn, chain three, then you'll have 12 stitches, including the, the 12 chains. And then you start doing three rows of decreases and end up with only six stitches across. So I'm going to go ahead and work my second ear flap. And then we're going to come back and then I'm going to work on the face. Okay, so I finished the ear flaps here. And so now we're going to work on the ears. And the ears, let me, I'm going to make them with the same yarn that I've done for the body of the hat here, or the face of the hat. I'm going to start with the magic circle. So I'm going to, or magic loop, some people call it. And then here, I'm going to, let me get this here, guys chain three to go up this counts as my first double crochet one two three and now i'm going to do 11 double crochets into my circle if your circle starts getting too big which is hard to control you can't pull it a little bit just don't shut it all the way yet so here this would be the second one one two that counts as two and i'm going to continue this until i have 12 double crochets the 12th of course would be this so 11 double crochets and then the chain three counts as your 12th okay finish the 12th chain so now you could pull your circle shut and now here i'm going to slip stitch into the third chain one two and three just like that and now i'm going to chain three one two and three and I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch, uh, excuse me, two double crochets in each stitch around. So here into that same stitch, I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go in there so that, remember, the chain three counts as one. So here I have two. And then in every stitch around, I'm going to do two double crochets. When you get to the end, then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain and leave a long tail so that we could sew well, it doesn't have to be that long because we're going to sew. Um, you're going to make four of these, so on two of them you have to leave a long tail. Okay, the other two you don't have to have a long tail. So here. So I'm going to go all the way around. And if you don't want it to be super thick, then you only need two. But I like them to be able to stand up more. So if you do only like two with a single layer, it doesn't, um, like it's not thick enough and they just kind of flop around. So that's why I like to do four of them. And so two of them are together to make one ear. So here, I know I sound like I'm babbling, but on one of them, you're going to have to make a... Um, well, you know what, the tail, one of them has to be long enough so that you could sew it two ears together. And then the other one just has to have a tail that's long enough so you could sew it to the hat, okay? So how do we say, how did I say that, okay? So here's my first ear I'm going to be finishing. My last two. Two. I'm going to slip stitch it, slip stitch to the third chain, one, two, three. And I'm going to leave a tail long enough so that I could sew all the way around this one to my second ear. Okay, so I just want to make sure it's long enough so I don't have to come back and re 
sew it. So here. So I guess you could leave about this tail on all of them if you want. You'll just be able to do it. So now I want you to do three more. You should have a total of four of these. Okay. We're going to sew two of them together to make two to make one ear. So you're going to have two one ear here. And then your other ear will be here. So you'll need four of these little things. And go ahead and leave a tail if it's easier so you don't get confused. Okay, I have all my four ears here. Let me see if I could move out so you could see. Right there. And so here I put the my yarn needle through one of, of the tails. And this is the right side. Okay, the back side has that tail there. Let's see if I could get closer so you could see. I know that it's kind of dark right now. But, um, so here, I'm going to get the two wrong sides like this. Here's the tail and the tail. I'm going to put these together just like that. I try to keep the tail like the same place. And now I'm just going to go through, hold this, and sew two of them together. So this, my my yarn is already, my needle's already on one of my tails here. So I'm just going to go through there and sew my little ears together. If you want to do a whip stitch like this, you can. That's what I find to be the easiest. Just let me let me focus it so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, the camera's not really focusing. So here I'm just going through the back, grabbing both layers and just doing a slip stitch through them. See, so I grab this one, grab the front, go through both of them. And if you want to sew them like this, going back and forth, you can do that too. Either way, you're just gonna sew them both together. And I'm going to try to go all the way around and hopefully my tail is long enough. If not, I'll just have to add more yarn. Won't be too big, see? So it's just going to look like that and it gives it a little bit more, more shape. So here, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around. And I hope I have enough yarn. I don't know if I will or not. But if I don't, it's not a problem. I'll just add more yarn and just like I've done before, just pull the tail to the inside. So, I hope, I think I may have enough yarn. I try to calculate, but you know, sometimes no matter how good your calculations are, you're not always right. Okay, so see, now it's giving it a lot more shape there. So, oh, almost, oop, guess what? I think we're in luck. We may have enough yarn left here. Okay, that one. There. Oops. Thank you, Jesus. Just came to the end here. So we sewn these two together. You're going to sew the other ones the same. So sew your other two pieces together the same way. And here, since I already have this, I'm going to go ahead this is the part that's gonna, this is gonna, I'm gonna sew this part, just shape it to make the ear this way. So this will go through the front and that'll be the back. I'm gonna put in my tail here. So a little knot there. Get that and then hide my tail there. And through my work kind of stitch it back and forth just like that okay there we go and I'm going to cut that edge off make sure you don't cut the other tail off so there your first ear is sewn just like that and now this ear will be stiff enough see when you have just one it just kind of like flops around I don't like the way that looks. So here, let me see if I can make this. Once you have it thick enough, then I could put it here on the sides. And then I'm going to sew. You just determine there. And I'm going to sew this onto this hat. So go ahead and sew your other two pieces together. Then we'll come back and I'll just show you. Basically, you're just going to put your needle here and sew it along. Not just in one point like this because it'll flop, but I'd go through like uh, maybe a few here, sew it on there, and then you're going to sew your other ear 
once it's together on the other side. You're going to use these rows, the ridges, as a guide. So you can know that if I sew my ear here and it starts on this ridge, I know that my other ear needs to start there. So that they're, so you don't have one way up here and one down there, unless that's what you want to do. So go ahead and sew your other ear. We'll come back and sew the ears to the hat.